iHeartRadio Broadway, driven by Mercedes-Benz. Some Like It Hot is a hilarious chase musical, a comedy full of bristling, thrilling tap dancing. Take it away. And love and self-discovery and just a lot of fun, a great time. I think you did really good with that, though. Thanks. You did, too. Thank you. Great score. One of the greatest scores on Broadway. And probably, I would say, the funniest seven-minute tap chase sequence in the history of Broadway. Ever. Well, the journey for me coming into this was um, running into Casey Nicola for an audition for Dream Girls, And he was like, you know what? I'm going to audition you for all the dreams, but I think I got another role for you. that <laughs> began this three-and-a-half-year journey. Um, and the rest is history. I, um, I love this role so much and the fact that, like, you know, it has this beautiful, iconic name attached to it. And everyone knows Marilyn Monroe, but to step into the shoes of Adriana Lachey Hicks as Sugar has been the best part of this journey so far. Um, yeah. You're such a good partner. I love doing that with you. Thanks for it all. That was a nice, uh, a nice coincidence that we all happened to get together. I, you know, I worked with Casey Nicola years ago, a couple of times, starting with Spamalon, actually, at the Schubert Theater 18 years ago. And now we're back in the Schubert Theater, which is very exciting. And I would follow him anywhere. And so we just started this process, and here we are. Oh, our dynamic. I love it so much because you have these two characters who initially they start off as friends because, you know, Sugar thinks that Josephine is who she says she is. But turns out it's Joe, <laughs> a con artist here. But no, in the best way. And I, I love that we get to experience, like, not only the friendship, but also the romantic element about that. Um, with their character's development and then the truth of like, hey, we're just out people out here trying to live our dreams, trying to survive and do the things. And um, and on stage, like, I'm again, like, just tying off what Christian said, he's one of the best partners I've ever worked with on stage. And um, I love how this guy, like, helps me to not take everything so seriously in the best way. I, I kid you not, because you just, you're just fun. <laughs> it's just so much fun on well, stage. There, there are two shows happening. There's the show that the audience is witnessing, you know, on the other side of the proscenium. And then there's the show that's happening in the twinkling of our eyes. <laughs> there's always some inside joke happening that yeah. happens in the wings that we carry on the stage or something that's happened in the world. Right. And so it's very sparkly. And the thing that I love about the the love story in the show, too, is that there's a modern sensibility to an old-fashioned story. And we don't let the character of Joe, who has misrepresented himself and lied to Sugar through the whole show, really get away with it. And so there's not a cringe moment where we fall into the trap of, but it's a love story and she loves him. And I think they give Sugar a chance to be her own person and we don't let joe the cad get away with his behavior i didn't know really about the movie I, I i knew the name and and all the names that were attached to it but i didn't um i watched the movie whenever i found out i got the gig you know <laughs> truly and i was like well this is delightful what are they gonna do like how do i have to play the ukulele you know it was that sort of thing um but like i said a little bit ago um it was just nice to have such i always say a beautiful group of cultivators from the actors to the creative team, um, you know, Mark and Scott, and, and I mean, just everyone, um, just reminding me of like, hey, we don't want you to be Marilyn Monroe, which I'm like, well, thank God, shoot, but like I never could be, you know, we all give it a whack at it, but you know, um, I was glad that, that they said that because it also allowed me to um, glean from a larger pool of amazing women throughout history who paved the way, like what I'm hoping to do with this role and also, um, Thanks, Fran. I love it so much. And it's nice that I get to bring the essential element of it, of myself, to it and how they've written it for me in that way. Um, I mean, talk about the biggest blessing in the world. And I'm very excited and thankful to be a part of this project every day. Yeah, no one can be Tony Curtis or Jack Lemmon or Marilyn Monroe. And so we just had to kind of bring our own selves to it. And between the two of us and Jay Harrison G, who's playing Jerry Daphne, I think we all represent who we are very well. And it's very nice just to be able to show up on stage as ourselves. We wow. have this weird energy around this, the yacht scene that we do, which is just the two of us and it heads into like a little tap duet that we do. <laughs> There's something around that scene where more often than not in a pause, someone will sneeze like you've never heard a yes. human being sneeze before yes. or a phone will go off 
or a goat people will wrestling. bleat in the back of the yes people wrestling no no, no. paper wrestling like and, the, people, wrestling. and people wrestling uh oh <laughs> <laughs> It was that day. It was yeah. crazy. Yeah. But we did get the secret giggles and then the not so secret giggles one show where someone like right in a perfect pause as we were setting up a joke, yeah. someone sneezed and we just, and everyone in the audience <laughs> did it too. And it was one of those great moments in the theater where everyone in the audience and everyone on stage was in the exact I same know. place and we all just had a good chuckle and then we got back to it. Yeah. Like I, I think that's one of the best <laughs> highlights of like, oh, this is live theater yeah. that we've had. <laughs> Uh, I think the the main thing, the first thing that comes to my mind is like love yourself in this process of this of doing this career truly, and give yourself time. Um, and that's hard to tell a, a young person because you know, you feel like you have all the time in the world, and then you also have the energy. <laughs> Keyword energy there. <laughs> so as you get older, you get tired, you know. But um, I would definitely say that and also understand that your gift will truly make room for you. It will. Um, I know that I was a person getting into this not knowing anything um, and worried that I needed to catch up in some sort of way. Um, but the more that I just followed love and just figured out, like, I just, this is just what I feel like I need to do. And I just, it was the the smallest seed of that that has birthed into this amazing um, journey. Uh, I hope that I can just give that to kids who are trying to pursue this thing and like, again, just take your time. You're inspiring. Um, I would say to the young people to challenge themselves to kind of live beyond this moment that we're living in where everything is about becoming a star and to think about their career as a long-term commitment. And that means um, your reputation is everything and how you walk into a room, it should be punctual. And how prepared you are, which should be the most prepared person there, and how you treat every single person in that room, not just um, the stars of your show, but everyone who is there from the PAs to the stage management to everybody. That will follow you wherever you go for the rest of your life. So behave well. That's really good. Talent, smiling. Everyone's talented these days. Right. Everyone's got a voice these days. Yeah. Are you human? Are you like, do you have a heart? Do you see right. your world outside of this thing that is just a lot of times it is smoke and mirrors, you know, because we are in the entertainment business. So that's right. Yeah. I think what is delightfully surprising about this is that almost a year into the process, my body doesn't hurt as much as I thought it That would. is a good point. I was just thinking that. Keep going. Yeah, so yeah. It's, the, the choreography that Casey has set for us has made it manageable to do over time. And I've actually, uh, it's good exercise. And I, I, I have, I look forward to doing every moment in the show. And it's rare that you can do a show where there isn't even one small moment where you think like, oh, see, yeah. comes this. Yeah, absolutely. I, I want to definitely tag on that because that's what I was thinking. I was like, you know, the most surprising thing has been like how nice it is to just stand and sing and not feel like you have to do too much. Um, I know that was one of the notes that Casey kept giving me at the beginning. He was like, you, you don't, like, honestly, the way you're talking to me right now, is enough. And I was like, really? Especially coming after six, you know, where it's like lights, camera, action, bop, bop, kick your face, layout, split. It was literally all of that, you know, with the glitz and the glam and the costume, which is all fantastic. And all I think that, uh, you know, if you're able to experience that in your career, it definitely is a, a landmark of some sort. It helps you to go forward and learn what this industry is. Um, but also... The other part of it, it was like, I just, I'm enough just standing there and being and telling the story um, and having connection. That was surprising to me because I, I do want to do the most sometimes. I, I feel like I, I really want to in order to prove something, I guess. I don't know. But. I imagine doing six must feel like sitting in a golden throne with black velvet <gasps> um, trim on it. Is that what it feels about like? about the throne outside. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's why I had to take the picture because for the fans. Oh, great. I Heart Radio Broadway, driven by Mercedes-Benz.